Hi everyone, so here we are back at Cobra Park Farm and I'm in the JCB again. We're where we left off yesterday, uh, but we now have some jobs to do. One of them is one I started and totally forgot about, and that was the field up near Yatton Ridge Farm. Field number 30. We cut it, but we didn't do anything else with it. So that's going to need to be turned over. We're going to get the tether out. Um, and I'm going to take the tether up there and then come back with the water trailer, the water bowser, and uh, well the milk one as well and then we're going to take the milk from the cows and take that to the sell point so we've got a few things to do today and I've also checked how long we've still got with that trailer still another 16 hours So a bit of road work today, and field work, but first of all, we'll be able to sell our milk. We don't have a great deal, I don't think, but it would be good to do it. So I'm going to drop off the tether first, and then we'll be able to pick up the water and milk trailer. And take that back to Chantry Farm. Okay, um, we will just remove that. Yeah, probably should have unfolded that first. Um, and then the trailer. I'm not sure where I've put it. It's somewhere at this farm though. Um, yeah, oh yeah, I know where it is. It's just around the back here. Have to reverse. <laughs> right. Uh, it's already got water in, so. I'll have to just put that somewhere, just empty it out somewhere. Yeah, it's 55% full. I don't think any of the animals really need any water now, so um, can't really use it. I'll have a go. I'll give the chickens a tiny bit more, but they only take about two litres. Yeah. So it'll be a case of just emptying this out ready to put the milk in so once that is emptied we'll be able to drive over to the yard and get the milk okay let's go now this is of course the milk mod Instead of it selling at midnight, you actually have to physically go and sell the milk, which is much better. Now, I did know where the milk selling point was, and I think, I think it's at the um, Wednesday store, but I will have to double check. So I will need some more water in the future, but I just have to go and get that from the pumping stations. Uh, I don't think there's any rivers in this map, so you can't get it for free. Uh, but the milk is just here. Okay. Fill that up. Yeah, like I thought. Not much there, only 20%. It's the first time I've done it and I would like to give it a go. So uh, we'll just do this load. Next time I'll make sure it's a full tank, uh, otherwise it's not really worth it. But there were a few people reminding me to sell the milk. Yeah. It is. The milk sell point is definitely 
at the Wednesday store. It's round the back, I think, took round the back. I seem to remember from the tour video I did. So we'll head over there and uh, go and get a bit more money. Should be around the back. It's the dairy. Yep, there it is. So I'm guessing I'm gonna have to reverse into there. So the best thing to do will be to pull around to the left and then hopefully just go straight back. There we go, sell milk, Let's see how much money we get. Not too bad. It's added to what we already had, so it's uh, still good. We will probably have to get some more cows sometime in the future, but we're not doing too badly for cows. We've got quite a lot. As long as I can keep the productivity up, we'll be able to get more money. Right, so taking this back now, I'll just drop it off at the yard, probably back up at Yatton Ridge Yard actually. More space there, and then we'll go and tether that field. And then tomorrow, we'll row it up, bale it, we'll do some hay bales. And this tractor can of course be used for moving the bales, a bit, bit more road work for it. And we'll be able to also use the other JCB to pick the bales up with. I don't think we'll be able to get the skid steer tomorrow. Can't really afford it. Um, I could look at what it would cost to rent, but like I said before, I don't want to rent too much stuff because we don't have any resale value on it. So we're spending the money and we'll never get it back again. But it is cheaper to begin with in the short term. So we'll have to see. So I know a lot of you will already know this, but for the new subscribers, because uh, I get a lot of new subscribers, um, some of you ask if I will ever let anyone into my game in multiplayer to help me. And I've got nothing against anyone helping me in the game. I've said before loads of times, but obviously if you're new you won't know this, my internet connection just is not good enough. I mean I could let you in, and it would work, it's not like it's not going to let you in, but uh, you will have severe lag if I'm hosting this server, if I'm hosting the game. And it won't be fun, <laughs> it'll be fairly boring because you'll just be lagging the whole time. I won't get any lag, as I'm the host, but anyone who joins me will. And Chainsaw 100, who you will have seen in my videos, although he doesn't look to be lagging to me, and we're on the same network, he is lagging. <laughs> so if you were not even on my network, you're going to get some severe lag. So I would love to let people into my game and help because that would be really fun and realistic. But at the moment I'm afraid I just cannot do that. So maybe in the future, but for now that is the situation. I just can't have anyone else in the same game. So for now it will be mainly just single player but you know in the future I could get faster internet so that would be amazing if I do. Um, but yeah, time being, I just can't unfortunately. So hopefully that has cleared it up for some of you who are asking if they could join. But we'll get cracking with this field now, just turning it over. It's been a long time since we did it and you can see it's already growing again. It's growing through where we've cut it, so a bit of a mistake on my part there, but 
I totally forgot. Because we were doing the multiplayer harvest before I was ill. So I totally forgot I'd even done this. But it's still here, so we can still bail it. Just looks a bit weird. And also, anyone who leaves a comment, uh, I'm not exactly sure how this works, but some of you won't have a reply button on your comment, which means I can't reply to you. I'm assuming this is something to do with Google+, Plus, but I don't know. So, if you leave a comment and I don't reply to you, then the reason for that is because I can't. <laughs> so please just double check that you have a reply button. I don't know if you can change something in the settings or not, I really don't know. I'm not sure what it's about because you used to be able to reply to everyone. Now you just can't. So uh, if there is a setting for that, you can turn your reply thing back on. If there's not, then I don't know. But yeah, if I don't reply to you, that is the reason why. And I can't reply to everyone. People who just say great vid, I take it in and I really appreciate that. But it's not really a great deal I can say other than thanks. So. <laughs> Thanks to everyone who says great vid and everything. I just won't reply to every single one. Beacon off. We don't need it on in the field. And the reason why it's taken us quite a long time to get machinery is because we're playing on hard. Otherwise we'd have all the machinery. But this is not a bad all-round tractor, it's a very handy machine. We're doing bale carting with, corn carting. This kind of job, it works. And it's not actually a very small tractor, it's quite a high horsepower tractor considering it's the smallest one you can get in the DLC pack. It's probably the most powerful tractor we've got actually, I think it is. How are we doing? It's making it harder that we can't see, uh, but it's, it's okay. I'm getting the job done. Uh, this won't take too long. And I'd like to buy Field 28 and 29 as well. I think we can afford them just whether it's the right time to do it or not. It would be good to. So this could have also been silage, but we need the hay and we're already doing those maize fields, so we shouldn't need any more. Right, so I think that is it. A few bits here and there. Just finish this bit off here. Okay, so fold that back up again. Uh, it might be worth keeping this up here, this tether. Seems to be a lot of grass fields up here, although they are quite evenly spaced across the map. Hmm, not sure. Have a look how much space I've got. Um, don't really want to block the seed points in there. No, we'll take it back. Might as well keep everything in the same yard. Put the GCB back as well. And something else I like about this tractor is it's got the centre of the bonnet. It's got that marker 
so you can line yourself up with the ridge marker on a drill. Don't think the other tractors have got that, so that's a good help. That I wanted to drill with this tractor, it's just the way it turned out. So next time I'll have to. And when we get to the farm, I think it'd be a good time just to quickly muck out the cows. They haven't got too much in there, but it'd be good to get it out and probably put some more straw in as well. Right, so this can go in here. I won't block in the windrower or the rake because that will be useful tomorrow. The tractor can stay in there. And yeah, this tractor can just go out the way somewhere. We will have to have access to those bales. Right, so we'll drop that off and get this on. This shouldn't take too long because they haven't got much in there anyway. Still a full scoop. And we'll be able to put that in our heap. Cow congestion. <laughs> Come on. Is that everything? Yep. So yeah, not too much in there, but I think they will want some more straw. So we'll just put that there and jump into once again the JCB. So uh, that is going to want to move. Put a load of stuff in the way. And that gate wants shutting. And back up to Yatton Ridge again to go and get the bale shredder. See, the bale shredder would be handy at both farms. So in the ideal world you'd want two, but we just can't do that.
Right, so here we are. Here's the barrel shredder. We'll take this over to the other farm. Right, so here we are. We've got the bale shredder. We've got the bales. Just need to go and get the other JCB back. So, uh, we'll just open the door. And leave that there. Just at the gate again, no, the cows don't escape, but it's just realistic this way. And we'll put the grab back on. It always seems to jump up if you haven't got the boom at the right level. So I'm one of these. Let me go for this one. I don't want to get too close to this cell point just there. Right, so that is in. Just put this back in here. That should be fine just there. Okay, so we're just going to shred this and then that will be everything for today. Okay, so that is the bell shredded, they've now got some more straw, they've been mucked out. We've done quite a lot today actually, and we've done the milk and tethered. So yeah, tomorrow we'll be continuing with baling that field. So thanks very much for watching everyone, and you can join me again same time tomorrow. Thanks for watching, and bye for now.